What evidence did she discover? Well, she mainly used DNA analysis. She actually bought a painting by Sickert at great expense, and she cut it up to get the DNA from it. Wow. Uh, people in the art world were furious. I can imagine. And then she compared the DNA from the painting with DNA taken from the letters that Jack the Ripper sent to the police.、Mm -hmm. Patricia Cornwell says that she's ninety-nine percent certain that Walter Sickert was Jack the Ripper. But you don't think she's right, do you? No, I don't. I don't think her scientific evidence is completely reliable. And there's a lot of evidence which says that Sickert was in France, not London, when some of the women were killed. There's been another recent theory, hasn't there, about James Maybrick? Do you think he was the murderer? Well, somebody found a diary which is supposed to be his. Um, where he admits to being Jack the Ripper, but、mm -hmm. nobody has been able to prove that the diary is genuine. And personally, I don't think he was the murderer. And Prince Albert, the Queen's grandson. Oh, this for me is the most ridiculous theory.、Um, I can't seriously believe that a member of the royal family could be a serial murderer. But in any case, Prince Albert was in Scotland when at least two of the murders were committed. So, who do you think the murderer was? I can't tell you because I don't know. So you don't think we'll ever solve the mystery? No, I wouldn't say that. I think one day the mystery will be solved.、Uh, some new evidence will appear, and we'll be able to say that the case of Jack the Ripper is finally closed. But at the moment, it's still a mystery, and、uh, people like a good mystery.